Good afternoon. My name is Robina from Lago School of Nursing. This evening we are going to demonstrate resuscitation of the newborn. Before we start this procedure, we need to prepare for what we are going to use. I have prepared a trolley. I have a resuscitation tray on which I have two masks, ambulation bags, Y2, because we may have two different, different sizes of the, our babies. I have a stethoscope, which is going to be used to check the fetal heart. I have different sizes of masks on my tray, and this will depend on the size of the baby. I have a ping in Saka, which will help me remove the secretions in the mouth. Again, on this tray, I have gauze swabs, which I'm going to use to clean the, the mouth. I have water in the bowel, and I have my glass for infection control. Below my trolley, I have a, a resuscitation tray. On this resuscitation tray, there are different drugs, dextrose, nomoceline, cannulas, dextrose 10, 5%, pediatric cannulas. I have drugs like aminophylline. I have drugs like naloxone and adrenaline, which will help me give when I need drugs. Again, on my trolley, I have the apron, which I'm going to use. As a nurse, I need to protect myself before I start the procedure. So I have a, a, an apron. Again, I have oxygen tubings, which will help me put on oxygen after resuscitation of the newborn. At the bedside, I have oxygen, which I may need after resuscitation. I have baby clothings which should be warm enough, cotton, a baby cloth, a baby cap, and sheets. And again, I have a hand washing facility, which I'm going to use to wash my hands in order to control infection. You remember, we wash our hands thoroughly before we start the procedure. So after washing hands, I dry. Ensure the hands are dried properly for you to put on your gloves successfully. So my hands are clean. I'm going to put on surgical gloves because this procedure, we need to have maximum infection control. hands are clean for the procedure. Okay, this is a neonate. I'm going to resuscitate with APAGA score three. It means this is a baby who is severely asphyxiated. So my first step is to have a general look at the baby. 
by having a general look, I open up this baby fully and I look at this baby from head to toe and I'm supposed to rescore this baby to look at the color and the activity. But because this baby is severely asphyxiated, the color may be blue, respirations are not present, heartbeat is just very low, so that is why I'm going to cut up quick resuscitation of the newborn. Now we follow the steps A, B, C, and D. A is airway clearance, B is checking on the breathing, C is cardiac, and D may be drugs. So the first thing is to prevent hypothermia. So I'm going to turn the baby away from me and I dry. And I do the drying also with stimulation. I dry all the folds. I ensure this baby is complete. Dry. So this sheet is now dirty and I'm discarding it on bottom of my tray and with me I have warm cotton sheets. So I replace the baby in warm cotton sheets, ensure I've covered the baby fully. Next step is to reassess. While doing this procedure, continually reassess. So here, I'm um, reassessing for the pulse rate. The pulse rate is present, but really is very low. So next step is one, airway. So with airway, turn the baby right on my trolley. I have a penguin sucker. Turn the baby on the side and just suck in the cheek, not on the throat. Because when you suck on the throat, you are going to cause inflammation. So on the throat, press the penguin sucker, go in, release. As you release, come and release in water, clean. Bring, check, out, mm. check out, mm, mm, mm. so at this level I assume that I have cleared the airway. On reassessing, baby still not breathing. What do you do? Ensure the baby is warm, turn the neck towards you. Among my tray, I have many masks, check a fitting mask, and this mask should cover the nose and the mouth. Maybe this one is big, then this one is the best. So again, I must have the, 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 the masks, the ambulation bags, and we fix it, and then check. Before you bag, you must check. So, here we go. We are exposing the baby's chest, the head must be straight, and then with my two fingers, I'm holding the mask tight on both the nose and the mouth. With my third finger, with my third, fourth finger, I'm holding the cheek, and my first finger, I'm holding the head to make it in a position that is will put the airway patent. I make one bag, uh, one, one bagging, and then see whether the chest is rising. If not, you try it again. Make a seal, uh, then go in. Bag one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. After bagging, I check. Using my stethoscope, I check for the heartbeats. Heartbeat is still there, but maybe not breathing. I go again. 
I can get a better fitting mask. That is why I have many masks on my trolley. I go. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I do this for the next one minute. So after one minute, I reassess. We continually reassess. Mm. Check. Fetal heart still low. Baby not breathing. What is next? I go to C. That is cardiac compression. So during cardiac compression, we assume we want to achieve a heartbeat of 120 in relation to the breathing, which is 40. And 120 versus 40 is 1 in 3. So with my two fingers, I get back my mask, fix it, position the baby. Then with my two fingers, I locate the ziphy sternum. And from the ziphy sternum, I press a third of the, of the chest. So I go in one. So I breathe. I say, breathe one, two. 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 Breathe. One, two, breathe, one, two, breathe, one, two. So you do this for the next one minute. After one minute, you reassess. And after reassessing, the heartbeat is good. Baby has started breathing. Wow, congratulations. So after that, I look, I have a general look of my baby. At this time, I can use my oxygen apparatuses. I have new prongs which will help. I don't use old prongs because I'm looking at infection control. So these are new prongs. If the baby is breathing, I'm going to connect to oxygen. I'm going to use my prongs to connect this baby to oxygen after ensuring the baby has started breathing. Note, never put on oxygen to a baby who is not breathing. Yes, I have my clothes which I must use, change this baby. I have a head cap. So here I'm aiming at maintaining or preventing hypothermia. So I put on a cap. Then I get other warm clothes in order to keep my baby warm. So after keeping the baby warm, ensure the baby is breathing, oxygen is on, and making the baby comfortable, I document my procedure. I have to explain whatever I've done to the mother, give feedback to the mother on the condition of the baby, and instruct the next nurse on what to do. This baby might be kept on drugs. We can give dextrose if there is metabolic acidosis. We can give aminophylline to aid dilate the airway. And we can give adrenaline 
which will help the heart pump stronger. So that is it. Thank you.